up, bird nerds? This is Chris here, bringing you guys uh, just another video, give you a, an update on the canaries. So this is, what, day four, five, since I've paired them up. I, I did make a couple changes since my, my last, my most recent video on the canary breeding, and I'll show you guys what I did there. Um, I also, I want you guys to drop some comments down below of what questions you would like me to address. Hold on one sec. See that right there, guys? That's a sign of a good pair. They're bonded and they are both ready to breed. So if you see them feeding each other, that is really good. And you see the other hand on the other cage. She's interested. She wants to be fed as well. So all those are good signs, good breeding behavior, okay? And a bonded pair. You can see her nest is already built. Okay, anyway, sorry, going back to what I was saying before, I want you guys to drop some comments down below on this video of what you want me to address in my next canary breeding video. Whatever canary issues you're having, drop it down in the comments below. I'll gather up those comments and we'll do another video here in a couple days answering those comments for you guys and, and hopefully answering those comments for you and, and giving you uh, some answers to, to help you be able to set your birds up for a successful breeding season, okay? So um, with that, drop the comments down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share the video. We're getting a lot of views here and, and a lot of people are, are jumping on and joining joining into the Birdner family and I love it. So um, you guys can subscribe and share this video with some other breeders or other people that you know that, that would enjoy some videos like this. So just give you a quick update here. So this is my red factor pair. My, my yellow hen there, if you saw my other video, she is a red factor. I just did not color feed her when she was molting. And so um, I've had a lot of people ask me, why is she yellow and why are you calling her red factor? So she carries the red factor gene. Um, so, but for them to show that orange color, like you see the male there, you have to color feed them while they are molting. You can't just color feed them whenever and they turn orange. It's only while they're molting, they need to have that red keratin within their, within their system for those new feathers to come out orange, okay? So keep that in mind. That's why she is yellow. But this is my red factor pair. This is probably my best breeding pair um, that I have and have had for the last, oh geez, probably four years. These guys, this is their fourth year breeding for me. Um, doing good and they're still healthy. They're still strong. This is probably my, my best singing male. He uh, is, all of my females want to breed with him. So you can see there, I put up this divider there. Um, so that this hand doesn't see him um, because she's she's drawn more to him than, than she is to this other male, but I want her to breed with him. And I, as you guys saw, they were feeding each other earlier, so that's good signs that they are bonding and um, doing re really well. So she hasn't laid any eggs yet. So like I said, we're on day five since I've set them up. She has laid her first egg. You can see that looking really good. So um, a lot of people, one of the things I wanted to address, a lot of people do pull out the eggs and put dummy eggs in there. Um, I haven't in the last few years um, and I've, I've done okay with it. I have some females that will sit as soon as they lay that first egg. Um, and so with those females, it probably would be a good idea to pull those eggs out and put a dummy egg in there so that they're, um, not incubating it yet. This hen, she typically doesn't start sitting until her third egg is laid, laid um, which then typically guarantees that we'll at least have three eggs hatching on the same day and then that fourth egg will hatch that day after. So I don't worry too much about her um, with pulling her eggs. Some of my other birds I might because they're brand new and we'll see, she has not laid an egg yet, um, but she's she's so, showing signs. They've got the nest built. She's got it really nice and tight, really pretty. Good sign of, of being ready to breed is that they um, build those tight nests. So that's a good sign from your females that they are in breeding condition and ready. This hen, she still quite hasn't built. She's She's got a few nesting materials in there, but she really hasn't started um, 
dedicating to, to building the nest yet. So, which I'm okay with that. We'll give her another week or two um, so that they can lay eggs and he can kind of help her. And then in hopes by, you know, in another week and a half or so, um, she will be ready and, and we can get him breeding with her. So these two females, they are siblings. That's why they look a lot alike. Okay. So then we have this red, red factor hen down here. Um, she hasn't shown, she's, she's played with the material. She's kind of put some stuff in and out. Um, not quite there yet. Um, my male has been singing to her. I haven't seen them feed each other through the bars or anything like that. She doesn't seem 100% interested in him. I honestly think she's more interested in this red factor male. And so if that continues to be the case, I have absolutely no problems bringing him down into this cage with her and um, breeding him with her. So we'll see, we'll, we'll give it another, you know, sometimes you gotta be patient. You gotta wait, you know, give it a couple weeks, right? Um, and if nothing's happened, you know, within a couple weeks and your birds are in breeding condition, then let's, let's change it up and, and do something different. Right. So, um, so I'm going to give it a couple weeks here and, and see what we can do to, um, to hopefully get some more breeding activity out of this pair right here. And if not, um, if all else fails and, and, and they, they don't really come quite into that breeding condition yet, we're still early in the year. What I'll probably do is I'll probably, uh, separate the genders and i'll probably put them back out in the aviary um so that they can continue to adjust to the sun and to the warm temperatures um and that sort of thing and and in hopes that, that that will help bring them into breeding condition and they're just coming in a little bit later than my my other ones so then down here so this is the change i made so i did have a, another female right here she was my crested uh, red factor hen um, she actually built her nest really quick right the day after they built theirs and she already laid an egg this morning, which obviously will be infertile because I did not have the male in with her. So you can see she's right here. So what I did is I moved her down here with my mosaic male who's been singing up like crazy. He's um, definitely ready to breed. So I put her in here with him. Uh, there's her nest. I just kept the exact same nest and brought it down. I still left the egg in there so she knows it's hers. There's the egg right there. So that will be infertile. Um, and we'll give it a couple days just to see. I want to see if they bond. Um, I know this hen really, really wanted to breed with my guy up there. Um, but I'm hoping that I could get her to breed with him just because she's ready. She's already laying eggs. And you know what, if all else fails and I give it a, you know, a week and a half and nothing happens, what, what I'll do is I will, I'll move her back up, back up top there and I'll let her breed with that, that red factor male. So that's kind of where we're at with her. Um, she is ready, just hoping that she accepts this male, um, as a breeding partner. So, um, he is really docile. So I'm, that's why I already have them together. Um, he, he's not much to really fight a whole lot. He's got a really calm demeanor and personality. He's one of my um, older males and um, mo more seasoned males. He's, he's raised several clutches uh, throughout these years. So excited to be able to put him with her and, and kind of see what our babies look like there. So, and then I have another hen here. She's a variegated um, hen and Kind of same thing. She's playing with the nesting material. I don't think she's quite there yet. Um, as you can see, she hasn't built. She does have some nesting materials in there, but not a whole lot. So we'll uh, we'll kind of keep playing with her. And, and same thing. If you know, I'll give it another week and a half, two weeks. And if I don't see any progress, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull those hens that are not ready, and I'm going to put them back out here, and I'm going to put my other male out there um, to let them continue to climatized to the sun, to the temperatures. Um, it is still a little chilly in here um, because it is spring. Well, my bird room is warm because I have my heater, but as you can see outside, it's snowing. <laughs> so gotta love the Utah weather. So so outside still is a little chilly in here. You know, we're, we're sitting, look at my thermometer. We're at 70 degrees in here, which is a great temperature to, to get them going and, um, and feel comfortable enough. And, to be able to breed so hopefully that guy that helps you guys out like i said drop some comments down below of what questions or concerns or what's happening with your canaries right now 
and I will try to answer the best that I can. And this is based off of experience and just the knowledge and, and seeing what other breeders have done to see if we can try and help you to get your birds into breeding condition and, and help them to, um, you know, have the results that you aim for and that you would like. So, um, so like I said, drop those comments below, share this video so other people can see it. So other people have the opportunity to drop those comments in the bottom so that I can do a video. I'd love to do a video, you know, within the next three to five days since we are in the swing of canary breeding season um, in, in many parts of the world. Um, drop those comments below so that we can get that video going for you. And then maybe in a few months down when we get some more comments, I could do another follow-up video and answer some of the other questions that, that people have. So um, appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully you enjoy, hopefully your birds are healthy having babies for you or just keeping you happy, right? That's why we have these. And so I um, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time.